If your classroom doesn't have an ethanol probe, here are some alternatives for measuring the differences in fermentation rates. The simplest option is to use a ruler to measure how much your bag inflates. This is an indication of how much carbon dioxide was produced during fermentation. Start by placing your fermented food source on the table. Then, place the ruler perpendicular to the bag, making sure that the ruler and bag are both flat on the table. Take the height measurement of your bag using the top of the bag as reference. This method works best if done after 10 to 15 minutes or before some bags have fully inflated. You can also use inexpensive breathalyzers to make relative comparisons of the ethanol produced in the fermentation reaction. For this method, use a syringe to collect 100 milliliters of air from the sealed baggie. Be sure to open only a small section so the excess air from the bag does not escape. Then, use a syringe to slowly blow the air into the breathalyzer over the course of 10 seconds. Breathalyzers measure blood alcohol content, so the reading will not tell you directly how much ethanol is in the bag, but the BAC numbers can be used to make relative comparisons between samples. Those bags with higher BAC readings should have higher ethanol levels.